the gondola ride. Is it worth it? Isn't it just a scam? And it's so expensive. The gondola is something unique for Venice and even if you'd find one elsewhere it still isn't Venice. And it's really not that expensive when you think about it. A 30 minutes ride is 80 euro fixed price. After 7 p.m. it's 100 euro for 35 minutes. And you can go in six, so that'll be less than 14 euro per person. Think about what you'd pay for an evening at the fancy restaurant and consider that the gondola is a once in a lifetime thing. But the choice is obviously yours. The origin of the gondola is probably an ancient boat called Scaula, but it could have been any of the small, long and narrow boat hulls that went from this to there in the lagoon a thousand years ago. Through the years it became longer until the 20th century when it reached over 10 meters and more, and it bent. Because the gondola is not symmetrical, it's banana shaped, so that the single oar can keep it in a straight line and to counterweight the gondoliere who has to stand on the left port side. On the bow there is the bow iron, ferro. It too is a counterweight to the gondoliere who is standing in the back, the stern. It's also full of symbols like the doge's hat, the basin of St. Mark's and the Rialto bridge. The gondoliere puts the single oar in a forcola, oar lock. The forcola is detachable and the gondoliere can hold the oar in a variety of positions to maneuver the boat. This is all done by moving the feet and pushing and pulling. The forcola is personal and handmade in one single piece of wood. Then, if you want to build a gondola, you would need a squero, a gondola wharf. There are now only four wharfs left that build gondolas. The price tag starts from around 30,000 euro. But maybe you just wanted to go for a ride and not buy one. So should you book ahead? Book online? No, 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 no. Absolutely not. That's not what you want to do. And now I'm going to tell you why. Here is one. It'll cost you 33 euro per person. Already at three you would pay more than 80 euro. Here's another one. 135 euros for 30 minutes. Now, you just walk down to any of the gondola stations you find all over Venice. You pay the standard tariff, 80 euro, you get on and you go. Not even in peak season there is any risk of you being left out. There are so many gondolas and they run from morning till evening. If for some reason there's no gondola right there when you want to go, just wait half an hour or walk over to the next station. Things to watch out for. The ride is from that spot and back. So if you want to go on the Canal Grande, you should choose a gondola station at or close to Canal Grande. If, on the other hand, you would like to see the calm, hidden backside canals, you should start the ride away from Canal Grande. The center of Venice, St. Mark's, can be very crowded in summer. and This is another reason for moving away from there. You don't want to be stuck in a line. A little bit away from Orseolo, it's calmer and in my opinion nicer. After 7 p.m. in the dark, the price is 100 euro for 35 minutes. And you can have music if you want to. The price is normally 120 euro for the singer and the musician, 100 euro for one of them. Mm -hmm. 
Normally musicians are hired with a group of gondolas to split the cost. If you want to go for music, you should start out at Orseolo behind St. Mark's Square. That's the biggest gondola station in Venice. This is a nice boat and a cool ride, but it's not a gondola, it's a sandolo. If you want a gondola, you should ride a gondola, not a sandolo. If you're on a budget, on Row Venice you can book a lesson, and that way you not only get a 90 minute ride, you also get some good exercise as well as a possibility to actually learn how to row the boat, the Voga Veneta. It's not a gondola, but it's cheaper and it's fun. I put a link below. If you're on an even tighter budget, for two euros you can go from one side of Canal Grande to the other with Traghetto. It's not much of a ride, but you can't brag about it when you come home because it actually is a gondola, even if it's a bit bigger. I put another link below. Now you've learned everything you need to know. Should you ride the gondola? Well, the choice is yours, but it's a very special thing to do. The prices are fixed, and if you are six, it's less than a back and forth with a vaporetto. Just don't hesitate because it's expensive or it's a scam, because it isn't. Please like and subscribe, and thank you very much for watching.